hello friends uh, welcome to freeposition.com and this is my new project video airlines information system and this project i have developed in python zango 1.1 and mysql i am using the version of 5.6 and python version is 2.7 so this is a totally web application and i have developed in zango so for running this project on your system you must need the python version 2.7 and django pip and the mysql server for connecting the database from the mysql to uh, python I, uh, I am using the mysql connector so you will easily get that connector on the mysql.org website so this is a very uh, basic project airlines information information system in which i am only storing the informations only and only about the airlines right this is a mini project and from this project you will be able to get uh, you will be able to learn that how can we develop a basic project in python zango how can we write the codes for inserting the data into the database editing the database deleting and updating it also how can we create the base templates how can we uh, create the child templates and how can we integrate the html css and uh, JavaScript in Python also how can we upload the data uh, how can we upload the images in the database okay so let's start with the functionality so this is the very basic template this is not a bootstrap theme so it's not a responsive this is very and very basic uh, HTML template okay so this is the home page of the project okay and uh, again this is the about project so these are only a static content if you want to change this content then you can change it from the html file these contents are rendering from the html file directly it's not coming from the database and this is the about project section you can also modify the page according to your need the content only and then contact us this is the static contact us page the data of this form is not saving in the database right and this is the admin login so admin login is totally uh, uh, dynamic and the credentials are validating from the database directly okay so if you enter the wrong credentials then you will not be able to log into the system okay so just i am the uh, i am entering the correct credentials the username is admin and password attached and once i click on the login button then you will be able to see the above menu is changing according to the permissions so this is a totally session driven menu so if login uh, if admin login into the system the above menu will be changed if admin log out from the system the above menu will be changed means the internal admin functionality will be disabled in case of non-admin login right again i am going to log into the system then just you can see the above menu is changing according to the permissions so these are the functionalities this is the admin dashboard so there are four things here and the same thing is available above the page the same menu section so you can jump on the page either clicking on this or either clicking on this okay so just if i click on the add airline section so this is the airlines management from where you can add the airlines information this is the airlines name so i am entering emirates airline number ei anything like that and airline type this is a boeing and uh, dubai and then mumbai okay, about airlines this is about airlines right total number of seats it's 300 and total distance covered suppose 12000 kilometers running day daily and uh, so state session just like you can also these drop downs are dynamic right so you can change the value of this drop down directly from the database travel time suppose uh, four hours and amenities uh, food drink and choose image file so i am uploading the image i'm choosing image from just like any image i am choosing from here okay just like this one 
okay and submit once i click on the submit then you will be able to see the data has been saved into the database and uh, record number eight for the emirates if you click on the edit then you will be able to edit and update the details of that emirates that flight right if you want to delete the things from here then just click on the delete you will be able to delete the records from the database and that record will be permanently deleted from the database right okay so again this is the airlines report page so you can see that all the airlines which i have added will be listed here including the logo okay so from this you will be able to learn that how can we upload the image in python and django right so this is all about the information of the airlines this is totally dynamic this is totally dynamic table so suppose there are currently there are seven records if you want to suppose if there is more than seven records just like 500 records 1000 records then you can set the paginations that how many entries you want to display here that will be displayed here right and this is a search so i want to search a jet so all the airlines which contains the jet will be displayed here so this is a z this is a z right this both contain the jets if i am entering the spice then this is coming so this is totally dynamic and totally on the run time all right so you will be able to filter the records from here also this is a very uh dynamic table which i have integrated right so currently there are seven records so paginations is not available if there are more than 10 records 20 records 50 records then you will be able to get the paginations here and just one two three and so on and previous and next button will also be enabled here okay again the uh, if you want to change the password you will be able to change the password from here right so for that you need to uh, enter the old password and after that the new password and the confirm password so once you enter the old password then the old password will be validated from the database and after that if that old password is correct then it will the new password and confirm password will be updated into the database so it's all about the airlines information system as i told you earlier it's a very basic project in which i am saving the airlines information only right it's a mini project so if you need more functionality in this project then please put in into the comments and don't forget to subscribe our channel freeprojects.com for getting the latest video updates thank you thank you very much